Who here likes the holidays? Raise your hands, raise your hands. We are going to be watching Klaus, the movie. Or is it Claus? I can't tell. For some reason, it, the, the font of it and the style of this like picture that I'm looking at, it's giving Klaus. If I'm wrong, let me know. I've never seen this movie before. It looks so cute. Um, I really like animations and styles like that, so that's why we're going to watch this movie for the holidays this year. Please, 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 if you haven't yet, because I know you haven't yet, please subscribe. <laughs> please leave a like and comment down below. Let's chat about Christmas. Let's talk about this movie down in the comment section together, and I'll be there. I'll be there chatting with you guys. Also wanted to show you this cool sweater that I got. I got it from, look at it, it says Chow Chow! It's in the shape of a cherry, you guys. This is so on brand. I actually got this at Target and they have like a whole cherry themed like Christmas area. Um, yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get sponsored. Hello, Target, Target. Where's my phone call? Where's my, uh... that would have been so cool. Guys, also go contact Target. Create cherry brand with my brand. Imagine you guys walking around with like my cherry Sakura merch. Oh, one day guys, one day. We're not there yet though. But where we are together is just watching movies. Uh, please, please, please grab your coffee and grab a cookie. Here, I have two choices for you, okay? We got a red candy cane cookie and we got a green Santa Claus. Choose one. <gasps> Before I drop them, choose one. Which one do you want? Did you choose one? Good choice. Ew. Now that you have your cookie, let's start watching Klaus. Letters. You don't really write many these days, do you? Nope! Wait, is this everyone's Christmas letters to Santa? Where are they being dumped? I wonder how the whole thing got Into started. like a, an abyss of nothing. Yeah, no one writes letters anymore. <gasps> a blue letter! I feel like the art of writing is kind of like disappearing. Even when I'm like writing notes something or like a little something like that at work, I find myself in my hand feeling weird writing. I'm so used to like texting and messaging or typing something now. Now writing feels weird. I've also forgotten the art of cursive. Do they even teach cursive anymore? I don't think so. Okay, there's an army of what? Postmen? Dispatch for one of your cadets. It's for him, sir. <gasps> for him. Stop. Don't tell me. Let me try to guess. I give up. Who are you? Who is this person? Why is he sitting down? I've got someone covering for me. Got someone training for him. <laughs> I really like the animation. It's kind of, it feels very soft. It feels very. Um, Dragon's Lair. Go ahead and cancel the drill. I love like the shading of the lighting in here. Okay, he seems like a bit of a jerk kind of dude. Doesn't want to do his job. Doesn't want to do his work, but he gets paid. I used every ounce of my influence to get you into the Royal Postal Academy. What is he wearing? First of all. Why is he wearing a robe? Sorting and filing. Total failure. Carrier pigeon care and handling. Uh huh. Uh huh. Performance. Okay. I mean, it looks like he's. It looks like he's doing it lazily on purpose. Well, have it. But hey, we gave it the old college try, didn't we? All these opportunities, which you so kindly forced me into, and become my own man. Maybe he doesn't want to be a postman. You know, maybe he wants to be to watch you purposely fail and then let you walk an elf. <laughs> a privileged life, void of any purpose or meaning. Well, yeah. Where else would I? Congratulations. Oh, he doesn't even want a purpose. Oh, wow. I feel like a lot of people are like this dude, where they don't want to work. They just want to exist to exist and to relax and to kind of do nothing. <laughs> Smirensburg. 
Smear, smearing. I did not catch that name. What is, what's happening right now, Dad? Six thousand letters will suffice, stamped by your own hand. Well, that's his dad. Careful. If you fail to get those letters, you're cut off. No more fancy apartments. No more money. Clothes, you gotta work. Gone. Okay, I love that. Good father. Good, good father. Can I help you mail the letters, Daddy? Can I help you <laughs> Not him stroking the ego of being a father. I I'm just going through all the body language, all of his hatred towards being a postman, and it feels like, you know, that's not what he really wants to be. <laughs> that boy needs a wake-up call, Sergeant. But he does need a wake-up call, I'm yes. Here. He might even thank me for it. Thank you, Dad! This is really <laughs> father. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wait, he's going to a, a secluded island using a single horse and a broken wagon? Nice boat. Any chance we might actually get on it today? New postman, Smearinsburg, which is on an island which is surrounded by water, which I need Yeah, I was like, how is he gonna get to this island with a horse? Is the weather always like this? Yeah, we're having a bit of a heat wave. <laughs> a heat wave? It looks cold. There she is. Smearinsburg. <gasps> Smearinsburg. What happened here? Oh, uh, colorful local traditions. No, not the evil kids. What is with animations and having like three evil kids that just band together? Is that a dead body? Did they just, maybe that's their dinner? Okay, they look scary. Nope, not talking to no one in this town. Don't you make me even dare say hello to anybody here. Nope, 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 You just ring the bell over there and and then the reception will start. The bell. Give it a go. It doesn't look like a good place for a reception. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. He's just like, go ahead and do it. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, they're charging for war! That was a war bell! Oh my god! What's happening? Okay, bro, you need to run, you need to hide. Don't tell them your real name. Don't talk to anybody. What did I say? Don't talk to anybody. <gasps> People are talking. They're yelling. I recognize her voice. Don't talk to nobody. You're just a postman. You're just the male, the middle person. Don't talk to him. A postman? Pfft, give me a break. When will they learn? Hey, they've sent us another postman. <laughs> oh, they're laughing. Oh, the humiliation. <gasps> Does the bell activate their fright system? <laughs> Whoa, okay, okay, the pitchforks, the knives are everywhere. I would be so terrified. I would start crying at this point. Holy mackerel, oh, the smell. Fresh out of mackerel. Oh! You are the latest mailman, and the ferryman tricks you into ringing the battle bell. The battle bell. Oh, it's a battle bell? Why do they have? I would not want to live here, I'm sorry. Shouldn't there be children and a teacher? I'm sure there are towns like this where people are just mad at each other, mad at the world, mad for no reason. I'm sure there's a town that has a battle bell somewhere. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. You, holy Bye. moly. That's you? What happened? What ha Don't say that! <laughs> oh my gosh, she, that hurt her feelings. You gotta say sorry. She's pretty. Come on, sport. I saved the best for last. I don't like you. I don't like this man. Ow. What the? Please go home, you loser! Oh, yeah, well, if I'm a loser. Where do the kids get the knife? 
Well, lots of nice natural light, rustic touches, central air. And it's definitely gonna need some sweeping. Get a Swiffer sweeper, a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I'll always be like, okay, dad, ha oh, this is funny. This is cute. I, I'm gonna have to end up spending my time cleaning than doing my post office job. I would cry. I would be bawling by now. What has my life come to? Almost. Hang in there. I think she's saving up money to like move out. She's trying to move out, I can tell. I'm going home. No, you can't leave. Remember, you'll be broke out in the streets. I forgot that if he decided not to do this job, Focus. he would be homeless. <laughs> Little let it. Oh, come on. Wait, what's the point of his job then? There, if no one has letters. <laughs> Aren't we as a society though, like leaning away from letters too? Like not as in hatred. Does she just throw her poo poo sauce? And someone's clean towels. Deceased notice. Oh! Holy mother! Oh! No letters? But how am I supposed to get out of... What the? Hello, sir? Can I get my drawing back? The wind blew it away. The way he's trying to bribe this child to start his job. So I would send this letter back to myself if I was you. Oh my gosh. Oh, hi, Papa. This nice man says he can mail- That's your father! Can you give him a Children penny? are liars. Puppies! <laughs> Puppies! <laughs> that must be the express mail. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be very hard to, like, fix. Because once people are, like, a certain age, once they're, like, done a routine for a certain time, like, it's kind of hard to change them. I don't- <gasps> Oh, he gave up. Oh, he gave up! Look at his face! You say colder, and then... What's that? What? Oh, the woodsman's cabin? Nice fella. Loves visitors. He's lying again. I can tell he's lying. Now, our lovely postman is going to a weird house that's, like, secluded from the rest of the Smearsburg, Smearinsburg. Why do you want to talk to someone? I, I would not want to talk to anybody, to be honest with you. Whoa. I really enjoy watching, like, movies in, like, a setting of snow and then forest. Hello. I'm in your house. But I would never actually go there in person in real life. I'm so sensitive to the cold. I'm such a spoiled California girl, 100%. Of course. Of course is what happened. Ooh. <gasps> Wait, is this Santa's uh, little hud hub hut hut? <laughs> oh, Santa with an axe. Oh my god, is he gonna be scary? Is he gonna be a spooky scary Santa Claus? <gasps> he tore that door open. Like it was nothing. Oh. This guy is so accident prone. Oh. Ah. 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 There he is! Klaus! Ooh. Oh, you look so evil. Is this Santa Claus gonna have like an extreme hate or something too? And you left your bag, you stupid! be magic in this movie please it's because of my sweater it's because it's nice and soft and warm Where's this? What? I don't know. How's talking? Wait. I do know. Here we are. Here you go, Sandra. Are you gonna kill the child? 
You're a postman, aren't you? This is such a weird Santa. He's so silent and kind of scary. Listen, please. Oh. Why did you re-close the bars? He needs to be able to exit. <gasps> not the, not the dogs. Okay, you win. What do you want? Ah! Down the chimney. Yo, the, they're bringing out the ammunition so fast. I'm confused though. Like Santa looks like he lives here, but it's like, did Santa give up on giving presents and that's why everyone hates each other? Are we just in a very dangerous cycle? Oh, that shot was aimed at his head. Tell me he's never seen a toy before. And it hops! <laughs> Aww! I don't know why that's making me. This child is surrounded by so much bad badness, and he's finally enjoying a little bit of happiness and playtime. Please distract and run! <gasps> <gasps> Dang, Santa, you're fast! Oh my god, he's built a fort! Oh, he's, he's traumatized! We'd like to send these letters! <gasps> a job, yes! To bring you a penny each. It's not a letter if it doesn't have postage, right? Does he finally have a job now? Hey, hey, you, you want a toy? What the? Why is he being creepy about it? It's so under. Oh my god, he's working with the kids. Yes, this is fun. <laughs> and now for the tricky part. Oh. How are you getting all of those letters? But. You're not getting the toys yet. If I were a few of those kids, I'd be like, um, I've heard proof that you aren't giving out the toys, so why would I give you a letter? I hope he gets the toys, though. The kids would love it so much. I love the moment of, you know, giving presents, but also, like, receiving presents. Like, you open something and you don't know what's gonna be. That feeling just feels so, like, nostalgic. Oh, he's gonna break your limbs, bro! Hi, uh, uh, writing letters asking you for... toys. Is <laughs> <laughs> the joking? Okay, no way he's gonna... Okay. Here it goes. He's fine, he's fine. I don't think Santa... He looks a little nasty. But I think he's okay, look. That's a lot of bird trees, bird feeders. Oh, wow. Totally normal. <laughs> You're a little obsessed, Santa. Think of all the joy you'll bring them. There is like some magic in the wind right here. Poor little Hairly. He only has sticks and stones to play with. So sad. Is Santa an airbender? Is this like, he, is he like a destined postman god or something? <laughs> Tonight. Same the time. wind is talking to Daddy Santa. Oh, he's so happy with his little toy. Aww. They're giggling. They're giggling together. <laughs> oh. Oh, they're not supposed to play together. With an Ellen bow! With an Ellen bow! Why did the dad have to go blabber his mouth? What? You too? Just wrong. Unthinkable! But why? why? What? See what I mean? Good, good. He's asking the right questions. Why is he petting his son like that? I don't like that. Family trauma is... It's so real. It's so real. We got nothing better to do, I guess. They're literally on a deserted island, almost. So That's... <laughs> what happened? Your eyes. 
She's so pretty. Look at her little outfit. It's so red and pretty. Please come back when you have one. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh, what the? He judged them over to her? <laughs> what are you doing? That's smart, though. When you go to school to learn to write? What is wrong with you? Yeah, yes. What? What? What I meant to do? Listen to me, Postman. Why are you mad? You became a teacher so you could make a difference. Whoa. Yeah, did, wasn't she a teacher for a reason? This should have made her happy. Uh, Huge, but he gets squeezed on any chimney. Really? How? I don't know. Magic, I guess. <gasps> Magic. So that's him? He's doing all that? <laughs> ever seen him. It's like he's invisible or something. They're so happy, though. Hmm. No, he deserves a present. No! Loser now, you little b Is his name Santa Claus? I just realized I don't know the main character's name either. What? Isn't he Santa Claus? The like, big guy, big, the big strong guy. All right, okay, let's make a deal. If I teach you something, will you get out of here, please? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is your moment. her interest or oh, she's taking the money out oh, you're doing it i could tell <laughs> that's a tough situation to be in of like wanting to do chase your dreams but you're stuck in a situation you're stuck in a in one place and you're trying to save up to move to find a better future no! he's doing all the work he's doing so much work is he really trying to catch the reindeers? See, how come the Santa Claus is like, here, I got this, this is super easy. But letting the other guy struggle. <laughs> so much faster. Ooh, they like each other. <laughs> you? Huh? Hey, loser! What gives? I sent my letter and all I got was a lousy clump of coal. Well, it serves you right. Devilish little tadpoles like yourself don't get- Aww. Oh, yeah? And how do you know what I'm up to? Unless you ratted on me. He knows. <gasps> this is how it all starts. He's watching you. Santa's watching you every moment of every waking hour. Naughty list, he calls it. You lie. You still want to throw that snowball? Oh, he's so sad! The trauma! Oh! That's right, he said that! <laughs> what is this random music? Only good children get toys? <gasps> this is kind of funny. Pause. This is so funny. I like, it feels like such an, a different, interesting way of like going about the Santa Claus story. And now at this point, he kind of said that just to like get back at the kid. Um, but like other movies, it's, that's just how it is of like being, a, the kids knowing that there's a naughty list and a nice list versus here the kids are like learning. We get to see it being processed in their brains. He's somehow getting them to do the chores. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's kind of smart, kind of funny. Slowly the village is changing. They're doing good stuff. It's always funny that the kids are sometimes always better than the adults. Adults get stuck in their ways, stuck in their meanness. How many do they have? Right, that's right. Children need to teach these adults how to actually use a town. That's crazy. Ooh. 
That's my subscribers count, guys. That's me slowly trying to build up my community here on YouTube every day. I'm glad that almost every day my account grows little by little here. If you guys are new and watching my channel, hi, nice to meet you. It's actually really nice to see YouTube actually supporting me as a creator, even though my growth is like small. It's like only like two or three people every other day sometimes, but it's still growing. Uh, on my other social medias, I'm like losing followers. <laughs> it's the opposite. I appreciate YouTube for the support and like actually helping me grow as a creator. Now all of y'all, please help me grow even more. <laughs> a true selfless act always sparks another. Someone used to say, Well, let me tell you something. Look out! <gasps> oh no, they're sabotaging Santa! They're trying to. What's happening? The reindeer are okay. <laughs> you guys are not gonna believe what I saw last night. A flying sleigh pulled by magical reindeer? Yep. <laughs> so is he not Santa? I'm so confused. Ho, ho, ho! There was magical wind earlier. Or maybe this movie is just about regular people and here in this realm of the world santa claus is just the postman <gasps> oh no there's no more toys these kids are gonna want more you can't just not you can't just stop these kids are literally saying it's magic <laughs> it's a little cutie patootie she's back i'm running out of time there i said it it's almost christmas already and i still can you please get off my porch you're trespassing <laughs> Who is this child? She doesn't even look like she's part of- she looks like she's from another country. Shut up, you idiot! I'm getting to it! Her voice sounds familiar, but it, it doesn't sound like an old lady. She sounds kind of young. We band together to take care of this, or it's gonna be all book clubs and cookouts for more And what's wrong with that? At some point you get really, really used to a certain way of life, and when things start changing, you get scared of it. Oh, the bell. I thought you guys were in truce. Who is that? Was he thinking that was his wife or something? Welcome to your new workshop. Ta-da! Um, gets up on Christmas morning and finds a brand present boy waiting for them by the fireplace. Happy little faces, huh? They're so cute. He drew them with these big sad eyes. I don't make toys. Did the Santa lose his wife and now he doesn't want to make toys anymore? Organized for you. No. lost someone. Klaus, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean- Get to... out! <gasps> he needs to talk. Santa needs to talk and let it out. It's kind of not connecting for me. Pause. I wish we still saw a little bit of his character kind of wanting to be lazy because uh, he's like trying so hard to get out of this town, right? But we started this mo movie with him being a character as just being lazy, he doesn't want to work. He doesn't want to, he's just used to to like freeloading or whatever. And I wish we would see that a bit more in this town because now he found this Santa, right? And he's like, okay, let me freeload off you. And I kind of forgot the point that he used to be lazy. <laughs> Oh, she's even speaking in a different language. Why did I think she was speaking English this whole time? 
What, what am I supposed to do? Stay in this little town forever, hanging out with an old woodsman surrounded by crazy people? Well, now I just feel like a... I've behaved like a... Don't let guy get... <laughs> Precisely. Who is she? I want to know so bad. So would you happen to understand... this? Well, me, because she's stuck in that rock. Yeah, why? Where, where did this girl come from? Where are her parents? Margu. Did the little girl just want to write a letter? And he's gonna start making the toys? Santa, pull yourself together, please! Oh my god, I just made fluff fly everywhere. Santa! The kids need you. I need you. I'm scared of this postman making the toys because I don't even... Oh! I don't even think they're gonna be good! Oh! He's gonna make something. Work together! Why is that... Why does that make me so emotional? I don't know. Where are they going? They're traveling somewhere very far, far away. Run. Why did they wait there all night? You guys are gonna get sick. The little girl! Gee! So funny! So funny! Their outfits are so bright. Oh, she got a sled. That's all she wanted. <laughs> Need help mailing letters. Yeah. My Lydia. Your Lydia. Oh, he's opening up. He's telling the story. Is he just a regular guy though? I thought he was Santa Claus. We wanted children. <gasps> Lots of them. Running. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, this movie is deep. I was not expecting this. Or like, she wasn't able to? He got sick. <gasps> it almost feels like she's still... Don't tell me she's the wind. Is she the avatar? She and more, the year after that! But I won't, I mean, who knows what's gonna happen next year. I, I oh no, now he's like, I need to leave! <gasps> this is so awkward, now he's gotta choose. Does he stay? I think, obviously, for the plot, he's gonna stay, he's gonna be happy in this village. It's an actual school now. Did she use up all her money? Someone would have to be pretty stupid to want to leave this place now, don't you think? She's got people that need her. Oh wow, you have no idea what you've done, do you? A different town! How come no one invited the postman? <laughs> well, that's a giant... That is a giant snowman. Oh, everyone's so happy. It's like so much warmer now. Like the beginning of the movie when it was all gloomy and spooky and... Oh, they even decorated the, the fish bones! <laughs> the difference, I love that you can feel that difference. Yo. He brought it. She brought her parents. Oh no, they're taking over their space. Wow. Oh, what? They're like the elves. It's looking like a little Santa's workshop. They do kind of look like elves with their outfits. They're very, very proud. Klaus and Jesper. That's his name, Jesper. Oh, that's such a cute symbolism right there. That's so cute. He wasn't able to get children, but he was able to get a community. It's so sweet. I thought this... Whoa. They're getting a little close now, aren't they? I This is literally so heartwarming, this movie. I thought it was going to be silly. I thought it was going to be a, a bit goofy. <gasps> Santa! Santa! Oh my god! 
I don't know. What do you? It's a lot of red. What do you? Is it too much? No. That's sick. He's becoming the real Santa. 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 It's great. It looks. It's nice. It's Hello, Jesper. Dad. <gasps> Dad. Fourteen thousand letters out of Smearinsburg. Well, I had to come and see it for myself. Dad. Fourteen thousand? That's not right. Oh, uh, yeah. but it is. Oh. We couldn't let such a feat go unrewarded. Listen. I, did, I think I missed the part where the adults knew he was... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, they went into his uh, post place. Okay. Right. Down the the line. Line, people. Right. Keep it short and sweet. No extra points for good spelling. That's crazy that they were like, okay, let's help him get to the goal and have him get kicked out. How'd they know he was going to get kicked out? Oh, he was unbelievable. Encouraging children to write letters. You just duped everyone so you could get back to your puffed up life back in the big town. Well, oh. first, maybe yes, but Alva, please come, Alva, please come back. Oh no. Hear him out though, guys, hear him out. I, I do think he should have told them sooner about like, okay, I was put here for a reason. This is why I came here. You have to let them know, like, of course, of course he showed up randomly, but he should have been honest with them from the beginning. Let's just say that there's certainly a bright future for the man who got... He doesn't know how to stand up to his father, huh? <laughs> Ooh. One down, one to go. You're an adult? What's his name, Jesper? You can speak your mind, you can say what you feels. Now, finally leaving. You don't have to listen to your dad. Never saw a postman looking more miserable leaving than on the day they came in. Dad knows he wants to stay. <laughs> the look. Come on, you have to tell him. You have to be honest with your dad. You have to tell him. Hurry before you start going farther and further away into the system. Oh, he's moving further and further away. I'm the boy, Dad. The child. <laughs> Cheer up, little one. No! He actually. Yes, me. He actually stayed. He said he'd never been more proud of me. And he hugged me. Oh, I wish we saw that communication. I wish we saw that. The real trick is gonna be convincing Klaus and Alva to give me an... Wait, what's that? It's the clans. Klaus! They don't know that they're in danger, oh no. Jesper! Don't our children also deserve a present? Oh, are these toys not for the, the town? I thought the toys were for the town. No, are they gonna destroy? Are they gonna destroy the presents? <gasps> Jasper! Jasper? The postman! Eat our snow! You... They're not attached. Why aren't they attached? I, thought... <laughs> I would never in a million years have done what I just did. I like how Santa's just not even budging. Really? You're gonna go for the guilt trip now? Smash those toys to pieces! I understand, Santa, but you guys are kind of in danger. We have to close that van! What do you care? I thought you were leaving. Great! This is sick. I like that he has to prove himself, though. Every hero has to prove themselves, you know? starting right here right now <laughs> how are they not injured yet how are they surviving any of this <laughs> oh my god they're gonna they're there's no way let go it's not worth it crazy no there's no way he stopped I wouldn't be so sure. Oh my god, this lady. No, 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 no. It all fell. 
This town was built on resentment and spite. Yes, yeah, stand up to the, the town now. A true act of goodwill always sparks another. Turn around. Mine. <gasps> They're in love. <laughs> Why is she saying mine? <laughs> What's this? That was a decoy? Kids talk, you know? And if kids happen to be talking about Oh, the kids, the kids ratted on the adult that there's gonna be an ambush. He almost died for the decoy, though. When were you gonna tell him, huh? As usual. So all you could have at least yelled. They they couldn't hear you guys. You could have at least yell they're fake or something. <laughs> that was so dangerous. <gasps> yeah, they got their presents. They got their presents. Who cares about the old hag? Yay! <laughs> Life went on, and Smearinsburg continued to change for the better. Okay, they're changing. Good, good. <laughs> of course, she loved me. <laughs> Go away, sir. More children, more toys, more towns. Ooh, they're going to more towns now? What is He's getting face? old. They're both getting old. No. Is he not like a magical being? I thought he was like a magical Santa. His name is Klaus. Santa Claus. No! <laughs> He's walking to the light. Oh! He's gone. I looked for him everywhere. I asked everyone, but we just couldn't find him. I've got two urgent deliveries here. <gasps> He's got children. He's grown up so much. <laughs> what I do know is that once a year, I get to see my friend. I thought he died. What do you mean once a year you see your friend? Did, did... So he is Santa Claus. I really, really, really liked the different elements or different points that this movie hit. Jesper being a really lazy adult and he's learning like the value of work, having a job, the value of life. This movie also shows you the value of like family traditions, how they're not always right, hatred and turning it into love, and then Santa Claus dealing with the grief of his wife, Lydia, I think her name was. There's so many good points. Really like it. I was not expecting this watching this movie. It's so sweet, so adorable. It's It was hitting a lot more like real life lessons than I thought it was gonna be. I thought, you know, again, like I said earlier, I thought it was gonna be about like a silly character. I thought it was gonna be a silly movie. Did you guys like the movie? I hope you guys did. <laughs> oh my God, this sweater? Okay, I, I was liking this sweater, but every time I move, there's fuzz. Please join me in the comments below. Let's chat about the movie. Let's chat about the lessons that were in the movie. Did you guys like it? Was it a little boring? As a kid, I would have found this movie a little bit boring. The only thing that would have kept me engaged was like the animation style. But yeah, we can talk about it in the comments below. Please everyone have a safe holiday, Christmas, Hanukkah, whichever one you're spending time with family with. Please, I hope it's safe. And let's spread kindness like the movie like taught us to, <laughs> even though it can be hard sometimes. Thank you for watching this movie with me, guys. Please subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below. I guess I'll see you guys next year. We're gonna have a plentiful more library of movies coming next year, so please stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy my reactions. Let me know if you do like my reactions down below. <laughs>
until the next time, until next year, Cherry out.